This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. The Parliamentary Registration Department's readying itself for another local government election. And the Governor General has set the stage for that to happen by signing four writs for a December 7th voting in six polling divisions spread across Central and South Abaco, North Abaco, North Eleuther, and Long Island. These are where vacancies existed subsequent to local government elections this past June. These are vacancies that are being filled by appointees made by Minister of Transport and Local Government to fully complement the required membership for these committees to function until a further round of elections is held. Nomination day is scheduled for Thursday, November 16th. Meanwhile, the election takes place on Thursday, December 7th. Now an election was scheduled to also take place in the Ragged Island District. However, this was pushed back due to the devastation caused by Hurricane Irma. Well, in news now in recent days, there have been numerous reports of terminations at major companies raising serious concerns for the opposition. The Progressive Liberal Party in a statement today charged that it seems as if little by little, the government is chipping away at the labor force ultimately sending people home to collect unemployment benefits or social assistance. The statement also goes on to suggest that the private sector is also following the MO of the government and layoffs. Added to that, the statement goes on to accuse the FNM of being both cruel and unjust in the process making a huge mistake. The PLP claims some 1,700 persons will be laid off in the public service and most recently it's learned of layoffs pending over at the Bahamas Telecommunications Company. Looking to the future, the PLP says it will be meeting in the near future with the labor movement to see how it can be of any assistance. Meantime, CEO and host of Love 97's Issues of the Day during today's show, Wendell Jones, threw out the question as to whether or not people are able to thrive in an economy where the government is reducing staff or finding ways to maintain the staff count until they can be absolved in the private sector. Listeners calling into the show expressed their concerns with one even accusing the government of attempting to sabotage the economy. People, where these people are going to go, what they're going to do. You see, they, 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 I mean, you, I mean, you, you, you sabotage the economy in some way, sir. What, what, what am I saying? Because even the, even the ten percent they cut back on government, on government spending, that's a crucial blow to, again. I'm not an economist. I'm, I'm, I'm none of those things. I just a simple man who have common sense, and some things just don't make any sense. So I, I wonder, see, even in Grand Bahama, they lay off some folks at tourism, and they, and, and they lay off some other folks. They close all the urban renewal uh, places and stuff like that. These folks are sitting at home, sir, and bills are still coming. What are they supposed to do now? Mr. Jones. Yes. The, the current government, I think they are penny wise and pound foolish. In regard to letting so many public servants go home, it creates another problem. It creates a burden on the department of, of, of social services. You say they'll send them home to try and save money. So these same people are unemployed. And guess where they're going to go? The Department of, of uh, Social Services. And therefore, that, that, that's a burden on the bank. They have to now find where it all, find the money to support these people. In any government, in, in times like this, when the genius of good governance must come out, letting people go home, is, that, that, that's, a, that's not the panacea. Fix the problem by doing that. And quite a track, the voyage was a long one and heavy weather challenged the journey. But over a week after leaving home, crew members of the HMBS Lawrence Major have finally made it to Dominica to bring relief and assistance to that island. In months to Hurricane Maria's wake, a number of people were left dead, several others missing, thousands dazed, and a heavy cleanup and restoration bill to pay. In the wake of the destruction, Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis committed to recovery efforts, promising the delivery of relief supplies. During the two-week stay in Dominica, courtesy calls will be paid on various government officials and the ship will be offloaded. In the days ahead, the RBDF's technical team will also integrate with those Caribbean forces already on the ground affecting repairs to Dominica's prison and other government buildings. The HMBS Lawrence Major is the first Bahamian military vessel to sail to the Lesser Antilles. Our final news stories are after this. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.